What's up, YouTube? Been a minute. We've been busy. So, quick update while I'm on the run. Oh, yeah. 650G. It's got a couple issues to work out. Like, leaky cylinder. As you can see, it's making a mess on my floor. And... Oh my. Yeah. So, transmission has to be rebuilt. As you can see, it's all out of there. And, as we've done before, out with the valve. I hadn't had a chance to tear it down yet. That's what I'm going to do next. So, we've got it back here on the workbench we've also got a whole big mess look at all those look here you want a helpful hint let me give you one so you're trying to think about maintenance that might save you money so you think, hmm, cheap hydraulic fluid, transmission fluid. Yeah, I'm going to save me some dough. Not quite. Should you do it on a John Deere and you don't buy the good stuff? I mean, you don't have to buy the really expensive stuff, but you better look and make sure that it's, it's rated for John Deere transmissions. Because otherwise, yeah. This is this is part of the clutch. They every one of them, okay, have come off like this. And what it is is that stuff begins to foam, and when it does, it just turns into a detergent. And then the old clutch material just uh, gives up and lets loose, and then you wind up here. Yeah. Poor guy probably thought he was going to save some money on his equipment. Bad news. Didn't save any money because any money that would have been saved using that cheap oil. Well, you see it. Now, here's our valve. So, it's like the other valves we've done before. Uh, the only exception is this one's got a spot for a ripper on the back which it isn't being used so we're not even going to rebuild this one because again it's never even been used so these three we're going to turn them down after we get all this cleaned up rebuild this thing but you know what a little bit more quick update on the about a skid steer so this piece of equipment only had like 400 hours on it and this half happened and sadly I guess there's no warnings or you know safety bells lights anything anything should you not have oil pressure on your new Kubota just by the way whenever you're choosing to buy equipment you might want to look into what it's going to take to upkeep it because half of your cost of ownership, sometimes even more, is spent on maintenance, not on the initial purchase. So, choose what you're going to buy wisely. This skid steer here is so new that nobody wants to sell parts. Kind of find out. We did finally get a crank. You don't want to know how much. Ouch. Let's just say well north of 4,000 just, just for a crank for this dude. Anyway, the case backhoe. I tried to film it taking the pump off. 
I really did. I made a mishap. Sorry, guys. But there it is. It's out from right there. It's on the bench. We tore it apart. Apparently, they ran that dude dry for a while, and there's nothing to rebuild. Got a new pump. Where you been today? This dude. I was out for a few days not for sure what all was originally going on with it I'll have to ask Chris and I'll give you an update but I can tell you this one of the lines there is leaking so I pulled this cover off there we're gonna find out what that leak is and get it going little Ford tractor um it had a lot going on uh, if you know about these little Fords, they start out life as 6 volts and many of them getting converted to 12, like this one has, alternator. The coal's been converted to 12 volts. Got a new carburetor, it looks like, or newly rebuilt. So, I think the starter solenoid's bad on it, so we're going to replace that and then see where we are. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. Oh, and then of course, we're still working on dumpster fire. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I guess that's the update for now. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to click subscribe and you know, all that fun stuff. Maybe give us a like. We'd appreciate it. And, uh,. Y'all enjoy. Try to be safe. Later. Is this all that you dreamed it?
but you've taken a chance on me.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share and hit that notification bell.